if I had to name the top three needed breakthroughs in physics, one would be the rediscovery of Alphen's space plasma understanding, something lost long ago. Mainstream loves energy stored in magnetic fields, fields frozen into plasma, especially from the sun and with Earth's magnetosphere. But Alphen, one of the greatest minds ever on this subject, had some different things to say, and it's about time we heard the Echo's resurgence. Let's begin with a review of magnetic reconnection and cosmic plasma in Alphen's eyes. Who among you fully understands the mainstream physics of magnetic reconnection and potential conflicts with Alphen's words in the classic work Cosmic Plasma? It isn't the easiest concept to get one's head around, even if it can be represented conceptually in a very simple way. While not always in this configuration, the concept is that magnetic current breaks and reconnects with another field, transferring energy that is stored in the magnetic fields. Problem is, when you bring two magnets together, it doesn't work. Apologies for the yellow, but I knew what I was looking for in the book and didn't want to waste a lot of time finding it. Every electric circuit is explosive in that if disrupted, it will release the whole energy of the system at the point of disruption. This sounds a lot like the magnetic reconnection in mainstream science looks, so with Alfin discussing current circuit energy and mainstream describing energy stored in the magnetic fields, how do we connect the dots, or is there a disconnect? Let's continue reading. Alphen cautions against the concept of frozen-in magnetic field lines, a concept which dominates space plasma physics, especially because it is only valid as a relative descriptor in some situations and offers the impression of understanding where it is, in fact, lacking. Clearly, on the very next page, we see that space plasma rarely satisfies the requirements of modeling frozen-in lines and further, it is not valid to use the concept in the outer magnetosphere or interplanetary space. This is why we keep seeing serious scientists demanding a rewrite or at least a reconsideration of the characterization of the energy behind these explosive events, even if a magnetic field reconnection is a very adequate way of qualitatively describing what effects result in the aftermath. So since we've got three U.S.-based scientists here looking into reconnection-based conundrums, perhaps they will see this video. And since Alphen's cosmic plasma is not cited among their references, I'd suggest they go looking for cracks in the foundation, rather than trying to figure out which coat of paint looks best. Then, all of a sudden, here comes Professor Egdal from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, not one of the scientists from that last paper we showed, but someone itching to fill the glaring gaps in space plasma understanding. Although I can find no definitive proof that he is aware of Alphen's old work, the circumstantial evidence is compelling. Just like Alphen, he does not see magnetic reconnection as being in harmony with the standard model of physics governing charged particles or plasma. And despite recognition of a magnetic universe, where everything important includes these modus operandi of electromagnetism, we are able to see he understands that the problem lies in the frozen-in field line science. Sure, it is easy and convenient, and it may be easier to focus on the explosive disruptions than the actual science behind them, another sign he is listening to the wisdom of old, but in the end, he realizes frozen-in lines are just bad, bad science. It doesn't work with the magnetosphere, and it doesn't work with space weather, or astrophysics, or cosmology. Now, if only he'd applied Alphen's ideas to the larger cosmic structures, like active galactic nuclei or the cosmic web, this guy could be on the forefront of cosmology as well. For now, three cheers for the professor for doing his best Alphen impression this week, and doing a darn good job of it. Nobody at his level of physics has spoken like this in many, many years. Be safe, everyone.